So in this problem, we're told a nylon string on a tennis racket is under a tension of 275 newtons. If its diameter is one millimeter, by how much is it lengthened from its untensioned length of 30 centimeters? So essentially here, we have this uh, nylon string, right, from this, uh, from this tennis racket here. So we can imagine this right here is its string. And we know when there's no tension force, uh, right, pulling on it, its length is just 30 centimeters. And then we know it's going to have some final length, right, when the tension's on it. And what we're trying to find is the difference in this length, right? How much is it lengthened from this? So essentially, we're trying to find delta L. And so uh, we're given some information like the tension, uh, the diameter of our racket here. We're just going to assume it's a, uh, or of our, right, of our um, cord. So we're going to assume it's circular, right, the cord. Um, and then, uh, or the string. And we also know the initial length. And uh, this is something else we're going to use to solve. So in order to do this, there's a formula you need to know, which is that delta L, or the change in length of any object, right? So you can imagine like a string, right, in this case, is equal to 1 over E. And this is the Young's modulus, right? And it's different for every material, right? So it changes uh, depending on the material, multiplied by F over A, multiplied by the initial length. So A is the cross-sectional area of, uh, of our object. In this case, it's a string. F is the force being applied, so the tension. Uh, and then L0 is just the initial length. So in order to find the change in length from its uh, normal state to the state uh, which we're applying 275 newtons of tension, we need the initial length, which we know is 30 centimeters. We need the force, which we're given, right? It's just the tension. Uh, A is the cross-sectional area. You need to know that A equals pi r squared. And we are given the diameter, so what we can do is solve for it. So, uh, right, all we got to do is just plug in D there once we divide it by 2 to get the radius. Uh, and then E, if you look in your textbook, uh, they're going to give you values for the Young's modulus, right? So it's going to be different depending on the uh, material. So uh, in this case, for nylon, the Young's modulus is 5 times 10 to the 9. The units are newtons per meter squared. Um, and yeah, so really... Uh, this problem is just a matter of knowing this formula and plugging it in. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have 1 over the Young's modulus, 1 over 5 times 10 to the 9 for nylon. Uh, the force is going to be 275 newtons, dividing by the area, which is pi times r squared. So our, our diameter is 1 times 10 to the minus 3 meters, right? Because milli just means times 10 to the minus 3. We need to make sure we uh, are doing this in meters. Uh, and then the radius, obviously, just half of this value. So half of this would just be uh, 0.5 times 10 to the minus 3 meters. So this is your r. All we did was divide the radius by 2. So 0.5 times 10 to the minus 3 squared. That is our area now. So let me put that in parentheses. Uh, and then our initial length, since everything else is in meters, uh, we want to keep this in meters. So uh, 30 centimeters, uh, to convert that into meters, it's just 0.3 right because you basically just multiply it by 10 to the minus uh two uh, or divide by 100 right so 0.3 there this is going to give you right so plug all this in you're doing one over five times 10 to the minus nine times 275 divided by pi r squared right uh times 0.3 so go ahead and do all this you're going to get okay yeah so when you plug this in you're going to get 2.1 times 10 to the minus two meters uh, you can leave it in meters if you'd like, or you can convert it into centimeters. So to convert to centimeters, you just multiply it by 100, right? Because there's 100 centimeters for every meter. And you're going to get it's 2.1 centimeters. So basically, the change in length is 2.1 centimeters. So initially starts at 30 and goes to a 32.1, right? Um, and yeah, so just a quick rundown of how we did this. Look at delta L. So this is a formula you're going to need to know. Basically, the change in length of some object can be calculated Right, by using this formula. 1 over uh, Young's modulus, which is different for every material. In this case, we use nylon. Uh, you can just look in your table for that. Divided by the force over the cross-sectional area. So this one was a string, so we just assumed it was circular. right? So we know the area of a circle was pi r squared. So that's why we use that. Uh, and then L0, or L initial is just the length, right? The initial length. Uh, and yeah, so you can write it either way, 2.1 centimeters or 2.1 times 10 to the minus 2 meters. Uh, either one are going to be correct. And uh, yeah, so these are your answers, and hopefully you found this video useful.